Welcome to the standing pin cycle on the Brunswick GSX pin setter. We are going to cover how the pin setter handles a standing pin cycle. A cycle in which on first ball, the bowler has knocked down some, but not all of the pins. First, a ball detect occurs, which energizes the sweep release solenoid to lower the sweep and energizes the ball door locking bolt solenoid. When the sweep is fully lowered, the G switch is actuated. The table motor will run counterclockwise, the cam located on the table drive shaft will leave switch A and move towards switch B. As the setting table lowers, the out of range switch will close, indicating the table made it to the detection area. The T-stop located on the left hand table tube will be resting on the stroke limiter plate causing the setting table to make a short stroke. At switch B, the next gen CPU will read the pin holder switches and determine if one or more pins are left standing. The CPU sends this pinfall information to the automatic score. The spotting tong solenoid energizes, pulling the spotting tong clutch into the main table drive gear, driving the tongs closed. Switch C is passed with no action. The cam passes switch D and the spotting tong solenoid is de-energized, stopping the closing process. The setting table, with pins in the tongs, raises and actuates switch A, turning the table motor off. The sweep motor is energized. The sweep runs back and forward, clearing the deadwood. When the sweep is fully forward, the SM switch is actuated and the sweep motor is turned off. The table motor will energize and turn clockwise. The cam will leave switch A and move towards switch D. The passing of switch D will cause the spotting tong solenoid to energize and because we are now running clockwise, the tongs will be driven open. The cam passes C with no action. When the spotting tongs are open, the cam on the spotting tong drive rack will actuate the ST switch located on the setting table. The closure of ST will cause the spotting tong solenoid to de-energize. The tongs are open and the pins are re-spotted on the pin deck. At switch B, the pin holder gripper solenoids will energize to load any available pins from the distributor when the setting table returns home. The clockwise motion of the setting table crankshaft positions the sweep release assembly to allow the tipper to pick up the sweep to the ready to bowl position. The table motor shuts off at switch A and the pin setter is now ready for the next ball delivery.